Well, hey there, today I'm in the studio with my beautiful wife, Tracy, and we're talking about how porn can destroy your marriage. I mean, is this is that really a thing? Because every, everybody does it these days. Right, well, that's what people want you to believe, but yeah. yes. Pornography is a public health problem like yeah. smoking and drugs and alcohol, consuming yeah. too much of alcohol. Um, it is a serious issue that I think mm -hmm. our culture needs to wake up and realize. Mm -hmm. um, and especially because of how we can access porn now, anywhere, anyhow, mm -hmm. um, we need to wake up. Because if you have a pornography addiction or if porn is a regular part of your life, it will destroy your marriage if you don't get it taken care of. Yeah, and that's really what this video is about, is helping you understand that. We, we hope that you'll watch this. You know, men, you might be watching this with a mentor and you're not even considering watching this with your, with your wife mm -hmm. yet, but don't turn the video off because we want you to understand that this really is true, that it can destroy your marriage. And then in later videos and later conversations with your mentor, maybe you can talk about then how to move forward. Right. right? Well, and I think it's important to say, we'll, we'll talk about the dangers and why it'll destroy your marriage. But I do think it's important that I think a lot of people, and this is men and women, this isn't just a man issue mm -hmm. anymore, mm -hmm. think that, you know, in all of our TV shows and movies, pornography is just something that's like one of the jokes. It's just a line right. now. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Yeah. Everybody does it. Right. And so maybe you're out there thinking, oh, I didn't realize it was that big of a deal. So that's why we want to give this information and for you to really yeah. process and think about that because it's very damaging. Yeah. So let's get into it. Let's just give a few, and, and you can think of your own, but let's give just a few ways that porn is so destructive and maybe some men and women watching this can open their eyes to the danger of this and want to do something about it. Right. So here's the first thing. Pornography makes sex a one person game essentially. Mm -hmm. When you go into the sexual act with your spouse, when porn is something that has has created the picture of what you view sex to be, it's all about your own self gratification. Mm -hmm. It's about you, what you want, what you need, mm -hmm. and your spouse is not even really a person in that scenario. It's just a, a thing that you use a, to gratify. A, a tool. A tool. A tool, yeah. And I think that's really helpful for people to know. And again, men, if you're watching this, and again, not just that men have a problem right. with this. Right, this is for women too. It's for women too, but I'll speak to men. Men, if you have an issue with porn, you know exactly what we're talking about is, is it becomes, just more and more it becomes about you. And that's really not what sex is supposed to that's be. That's right. Sex is supposed to be two people who love each other coming right. together and giving a gift to each other. That's right, which yeah. goes into our second point then. Yeah of how porn destroys marriage is that it breaks marital intimacy. Right. So if you're a person where pornography is kind of your main sexual outlet and mm -hmm. then you come into relationship with your spouse and it's all about gratifying yourself, uh, you're not really looking then to connect with your spouse. Mm -hmm. And what sex is supposed to be, it's like the most intimate thing you can do or share with someone, mm -hmm. two naked people, all of you is exposed to mm -hmm. the other person. Mm -hmm. And so it really breaks that intimacy, not only because you're not viewing your spouse as this person you wanna share something with, mm -hmm. you're viewing your spouse as the tool, but then also for your spouse, if they're aware that pornography is something mm -hmm. that you view. And a lot of times they are. And a lot of times right? they are. And, and pro probably in some marriages, even husband and wife both are involved in porn. And they bring that into the bedroom and think that's gonna somehow enhance their sexual experience. Yep. And really all it's doing is it's breaking that emotional connection yeah. And sex has just become something about uh, just gratifying that desire and it's not about a relational thing at all. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so number one, it, 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 uh, it's very selfish. Yes. Number two, it, then therefore it breaks your intimacy and marriage is all about intimacy. What's, what's the third reason people should steer away from this or want to overcome this? So porn damages your spouse's self-worth. Mm -hmm. So if we think about it, I'm going to speak from a woman's point of view here. Um, again, if we don't normalize pornography as just something that everyone does and it's no big deal, almost if you think about it in terms of how would your, how would I feel if you came home one day and we're like, Hey, so on my way home from work, I hired a hooker and we met at a hotel and mm -hmm. had some fun and now I'm home and Hey, you want to have sex later tonight or tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how would I feel about yeah, that? That would be, be devastating. Devastating. Yeah. Um, and so it's the same idea with pornography. Yeah. For, your, for me as a woman, if I knew that you were viewing pornography mm -hmm. and then I'm thinking every time I'm having sex with you, who are you picturing? Mm -hmm. I'm certainly not going to measure up to mm -hmm. 
a porn star who they choose to have the perfect body and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it just damages my Mm self-worth, my view of myself, Mm -hmm. my ability to fulfill you. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of wrecks, it just again creates Mm -hmm. more disconnection emotionally. Um, and so, so you might say like, well, hookers, you're, you're hiring for a hooker and you're paying money. Isn't that a little different? Well, some people are paying for more access to pornography. The point is the spirit of the issue really is the same. Mm-hmm. It's bringing other people into your relationship and making your spouse feel like you're not good enough. Mm-hmm. So bottom line, porn is not an innocent thing. No. Porn is not something that, even though in our culture we laugh at it, everybody does it, we minimize it. It is an epidemic. It's an epidemic. In our culture. And if you're watching this, I just want to I want to say to you, deal with it. Get, get over this porn thing. Men, women, whoever you are, maybe even couples together. It is not good. It is not healthy. Maybe, maybe there's something, some part of this that just really resonates with you. It rings true for you. It's because it is true. And you can you can have victory over this. Now, again, this video was about really the truth about porn. Yeah. Uh, we really didn't get into how to overcome it. Right. But we'll do that in other videos. You can check out the other videos in our marriage section, in our addiction section, um, because we really believe that you can overcome this and your marriage can be restored yes. and can be everything that, that all the potential that it could reach, you can reach it if you get rid of porn yeah. in your marriage.